Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video and as you can see from the title, it is 10 things I cannot live without. And I cannot say that I haven't been a little bit inspired by the GQ videos that are going around YouTube right now. And I did watch a few and a little smile came to this face when I watched the DJ Khaled one because he mentioned that he loved Dove soap and deodorant. And I thought, do you know what? Yes, so do I, so do I, I love that. So it kind of made me feel, do you know what, I can do this video, I can do this, there's stuff that I can show you. Um, and I'm not gonna talk about any skincare, any hair care, any kind of product base, because I kind of mentioned those in my favorites video and I've got a lot to talk about in a future video. So this is just the bits and bobs that's in my life that's given me all the good vibes and what I would call essential. Okay. So my 10 essentials are I'm going to minus three things here. I'm not going to talk about my cat. Um, people mention their pets, Rover, Twixabel, whatever. I'm not going to talk about my cat. Um, I don't class him as an essential. He's very dear to me, but he's not coming into this video. And also the technology. We've all got phones that we would class as an essential, iPads, laptops, whatever. Those three things are not in this video. Okay, so I'm going to start at the top of the day. And the first thing I do every morning if I'm first downstairs in the kitchen making a brew is make myself hot lemon water okay so it's basically boiled water with a splash of cold water so you don't burn your mouth and then I add either a chunk a slice or a dash or a splash of lemon anything like that let it ferment for a minute or so and then I drink it it is supposed to be very good for skin and digestion and probably other things. I can't actually remember why I do it now. I just do it every day, unless I'm on holiday and I'm unable to make that in my hotel room. Otherwise, I'm doing it every day. Then I would follow up every morning with a breakfast smoothie without fail. That is my staple every morning. And that consists of, the basics would be soya milk, a soya sort of yogurt, just a, not a whole yogurt, just like a dessert splash spoon in there, um, and some chai seeds. And then from there, I would generally go in with a banana or a bit of avocado, definitely some spinach, sometimes some celery, sometimes an old dried up apple that I peel and chunk up. There could be some melon in there, some frozen fruit, a little bit of a mixture, not all fruit, because then it becomes quite sweet and unnecessary, um, and try and just add a little bit of veg in there, especially the old spinach. Um, so there, that's a definite. I blend it all up in my little breville, and that's what I have every morning. So next I'm gonna talk about my jewellery, and I don't just mean earrings, necklaces, the whole shebang, I'm mainly meaning my rings. Okay, the necklaces get mixed up a bit and I wear different things on different days, earrings likewise, um, but my rings stay the same. And they've all got a little kind of story attached to them, for me anyway. So here obviously I have an engagement ring and a wedding ring. My wedding ring was a reshaping, remodeling of my nan's wedding ring, which is my dad's mum. Um, we just kind of had it all reshaped and remade to fit me. So there's the history there. The engagement ring is a relatively new one because my original one, actually all the diamonds started to fall out because the little, um, one of the little bits that attach the diamond to the ring called claws. I don't know. Anyway, it all kind of wore down because obviously it had been on there quite a while and, you know, showered a lot. I just kept it on my finger constantly. So that came off and I didn't have an engagement ring for a couple of years probably. And then when we had our 25th wedding anniversary a couple of years back or 18 months back, I got a new engagement ring, which is completely different from my original and I like it. So that's that. And then the next ring next to it is a signet ring which again is relatively new to me, but not my family. It was my dad's engagement, engagement. Well, it might have been. He only tends to wear one ring and he wears a different ring now, a different sort of signet ring on his wedding finger. So he may have wore this originally back in the day. Um, but anyway, doesn't fit him now, but kind of fits that middle finger for me. And then on this side, I have a thumb ring, which is sort of <laughs> twisted and it's, you know, a wobbly wavy ring. That was very inexpensive. 
many many years ago and bought from a high street retailer but i love it this one was purchased um very recently again last year in lanzarote um and it's silver or stainless steel even a sort of like brass coating so that can stay on all the time if i want it to this one is again a high street purchase from two or three years ago um but it's just stainless steel and it can stay on my finger constantly and then this one I think it's stainless steel as well. I do not think it's silver. I think it's stainless steel. And I've got that one on holiday as well in Cyprus, probably about 12 years ago. And I love them. I love them all. I do love my bracelets and all the rest of the jewels, but these are the things that I would really miss if I didn't have them on my right. fingers. So this is potentially one I've worn more so whilst in lockdown because I'm at home more and the sun is shining most days pretty much in the UK, but it's not that warm. I do tend to start the day with a pair of relaxed sort of jogger shorts with something bigger and longer and a bit more covering up and warmer on the top half, but it's a little bit nippy in the mornings. So I will go in with, oh, fluffy socks. Okay, any kind of fluffy sock. I probably got these at Christmas, a pack of two from Primark, you know, that nice fleecy, and I do like a stripe, but that's not the point. It's a fluffy sock, and unfortunately, with a slider. Let me show you more, if I at all can. I love my fluffy socks, and then when I have to go outside in the garden, if I just wanna sit and have my coffee outside or eat my lunch, because I am working from home some days, the slider goes on. You can imagine, I'm sure, what that looks like. But that's kind of an essential in my life at the moment. So my next thing is, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a bit of a spendy one, I must say, but it's my Dyson Airwrap. I bought this, treated myself for it back at the beginning of March when it was my birthday. And I'm so glad I did because it's so quick and easy to style my hair. Literally on the days like for now when i'm working from home i know that's not going to happen in the future i can't do my job in its normal form from home um but it's just so quick and easy you wash your hair i sometimes don't even do anything to my hair if i'm working from home i'll just tie it back a little bit of extra conditioner in the end but the next day if i've got to go into the office it's just so easy to style it with one of these because you've got your let me show you if you've never seen one before you have your sort of arm your wandy bit with the on and off button and then you have your different attachments so for me i would always whiz through first of all with the brush that just smooths out all the kinks and curls um and just sort of gives you a nice blank canvas to then work with when you go on and do your little curls and i do tend to i must say use the bigger barrel but it's so nice because obviously if i've slept on my hair so like it's second day hair or something it might be a little bit flat maybe but you literally whoosh, put this through and i don't even section it off anymore i just literally let it grab curl it back grab curl it back do the next bit do the next bit swap and do the other side and i've got a few kind of full curls then and it's a little bit out there but then i can just tweak it with my straighteners and just sort of style it up into something that i'm happier with but it's just given it a bit of volume and a bit of life and it is just so easy to use. I'm so, so glad that I bought this when I did. Okay, the next thing would be my Fitbit. I'm just a little bit obsessed with my Fitbit at the moment. It's not brand new to me. It's been in my family. It was my son's, but he's reprogrammed it all for me and we've downloaded the app um so i can all of this information goes to my phone i can add in how much water i've drank i can see what my heart rate is i can see how many steps i've done it gives me a little message and a little vibrate to tell me to get off my ass and do some steps if that's the case which sometimes at work when i'm actually in the office i don't move much shall we say so this is just a little kick up my butt to get me to move a little bit and actually records my steps I really love it. So going a little bit hand in hand with the Fitbit, although I'd started doing this before I got the Fitbit, I have started to go for little jogs. It hasn't been anything groundbreaking and I'm literally running about a mile um, just around my area. I haven't done any running for about six years plus, <coughs> excuse me, 
um, yeah, but I just wanted to get back into it again. I had no excuses. I was working from home on some days, so I was like, do you know what? I don't have to commute in all that traffic. So I'm gonna start a little bit more running. So back in March, I started to go for little runs and I probably can do two or three a week. It tends to be three a week, but I am sticking with the mile, the same loop, because I really want to do that well before I push myself to go any further. I'm not, I'm not a natural runner. I struggle with that voice in my head so much. But if I've run a course run once, if I've run the course once, I will not be defe defeated. If the next time I go for a run, it's crap, and I'm like, why am I struggling? I will not stop or walk or anything because I know the previous run, I did it. So I know I'm capable of doing it. So that's the only thing that gets me home if I'm really struggling. But there's good days, there's bad days, but I do it. I get up early in the morning, seven-ish, somewhere between seven and eight anyway, and it's nice and quiet. Um, nobody really sees me sneaking out. I don't wanna make a big deal of it. I'm just enjoying going out and just building up a little bit of stamina. Yeah, so enjoying that right now. So perfume is definitely, definitely essential in my life. I, if I leave the house, if I'm on my way to work and I'm in the car and I've gone a hundred yards down the road, I will contemplate coming back home to put perfume on if I remember that I didn't put it on. I don't tend to turn around and actually do that because I would then be late for work. Um, but yeah, that's how passionate I am. I love perfume. I have worn perfume probably since I was at 17, 18. Um, you know, when it was NANA -A and Lulu and all those things. Um, I just love it. My mum used to wear a lot of perfume on the daily and it's just a habit that I have got in and I love all perfumes. Um, so I'm just going to quickly run through and show you my faves that I've always kind of had in my stash. This one's a repurchase. This is the Lancome La Via Belle. I love that one. These three are more recent. I got these at Christmas. This is a repurchase though, the Guerlain Mom. That's really, really nice. Um, this one is the Yves Saint Laurent Le Bear, Le Bear, Le Bear, something like that. I will put them all down in the description bar so you can see. And this one is the Jean-Paul Gaultier. This one was the Christmas one as well. I love it. This one's so... This is kind of my favourite scent at the moment. I think this is called Belle as well, actually. I'm not 100% sure, but again, I'll mention it down below. I also love this one from All Saints. This is the Sunset Riot. We kind of have this in the house and we all use this. That's Gorge. And then we got a Marc Jacob one. This is my like, my night out. I'm going out and there's a few of us out and I want to feel like it's a separation from daytime perfumes to nighttime perfumes. And that's definitely this decadence from Marc Jacobs. And then we've got this one, the Good Girl as well. I really like this one. When I wear this one to work, you can guarantee somebody will notice it and say how much they like it. So it's really cool. I really like that one. And that is a little sample I have at work as well. So I can top up with that one. So I absolutely love my perfumes. I really, really do. Now I couldn't do this video without books. I love a good read. I've been reading for donkey's years. Again, I've always read a book. I don't think I'll ever go to a Kindle. I just enjoy a book. I'm not the fastest of readers because I only tend to read at night just as I'm falling asleep. So I've been reading this one for a couple of months and it's not a big book and the words are quite big and the chapters are very small but it's it's snappy i literally a chapter sometimes can literally be oh look i nearly had one then to show you like that look and i sometimes can't even read all of that at night because i my eyes go and i already fall asleep and the minute then i come back i'm like no i'm asleep books going down and then i'm out for the count so i do take a very long time to read a book because i do struggle to sort of absorb myself in a book during the day when there's other things around. I like the quiet and the calm of being in bed and reading. But that's the one I'm reading at the moment. That's my sister, the serial killer. And then I want to finish that one because I so badly want to get onto this one where the Crawford dad sings. I've heard good things about both of these. This one's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm in it. I'm reading it. Mm. I'll let you know at the end um, but yeah I just want to kind of get it done because I want to move on to that one but books is 100% I've always got a book on the go 
as soon as I finish one or I'm getting close to the end of one, I need to have the next one lined up already. So I love a good book. So last but not least, guys, would be my Fila hat. I love this hat. I bought it. Well, actually, my son bought it for me for Christmas. In fact, I asked him to purchase it for me and he did the little cutie i kind of thought i'd be wearing it on holiday just in the summer months sat in the garden which i do but actually when it was still in the winter months i very much enjoyed wearing it when it was raining and just popping it on tying my hair back when you just got your big coat on and you need to dash out i just like it i like a hat i've always worn a hat i'm very much from a bucket hat to a straw hat um yeah sorry um yeah i just have always loved a hat because i like to protect my face particularly from the sun but i just enjoy that and i actually wear it out on my runs as well it just makes me feel a little bit more confident you know because the hair looks crap obviously first thing in the morning stick a hat on and off you go but i like the fact that i've actually been reaching for it just to nip out back in the winter as well not just keeping it as a sun hat so yeah. there you go guys i hope that's 10 I did check before but I feel like I've been talking for ages um yeah hope you're all well and keeping safe and yeah I really enjoyed finding those things um it's funny how we just take so much for granted and then you kind of actually sit down and go do you know what what do I do every day what is in my life that I would really not want to be without anyway have a little go yourself maybe write some things down and see how you get on anyway i hope you enjoyed the video give it a little thumbs up if you did click that subscribe button which is over there i think um and like i say i might mention down below well, i'll definitely tell you what all the perfumes were called in case i mess that up but i'll pop down below what i've talked about and have a lovely weekend day night evening whenever you're watching this video and i'll see you very soon thanks guys bye